I say here, once more, we hear the thunder of war and the clamors of millions of Ukrainians running for life with the families while the cities and homes get destroyed by the invading Russian army. As always, we hear claims and counterclaims, accusations and justifications. As always, the victims are the children, the old, the weaker, the poorer. War is the scourge of our civilization. All the great spiritual founders along history have denounced it, condemned it, and avoided. Yet at the end of this era, technologically the most advanced in human history, it raises its ugly head once more to remind us of the horrible reality of collective violence, armed violence, in a violent world run by a violent system that subordinates life in general and human life in particular to pseudo values such as money, power, ideology, race, nationality, beliefs, and many others. Our civilization is so intertwined today that results impossible to escape the consequences of war wherever we are. The false information of all kinds injures our minds and our personal relations everywhere. Chains of supply of food, of commodities and prices get immediately affected everywhere and the risk of spreading out in all latitudes very quickly becomes real. We activists for peace and nonviolence across the world are the inheritors of the greatest spiritual traditions that place the human being as a central value and nonviolence as its methodology of action. It is therefore quite right that we feel the urgency of meeting. We need to teach, share experience and help to develop all those in near contact with us. Universalist humanism was founded by Silo in Argentina in 1969 in a public address known as the healing of suffering. That address contained the seeds of the teachings that in the fall of 40 years became a comprehensive body of theory and practice with the potential to help people to transform their lives. Now, let me tell you about the forum. The Asian Humanist Forum being prepared for the month of November is going to be the first virtual regional forum in Asia. It is intended to be a series of panels of discussions amongst people with valuable experience in all areas, which reflect the fundamental problems of individuals and societies in these times. The exchanges and conclusions of the forum will be recorded and disseminated and used as teaching material and reference material for thousands of discussions in many homes, schools, and organizations of all sorts. In this manner, the ideas of humanism, nonviolence, and personal transformation will spread far and wide, so influencing and hopefully changing the culture of our times in the direction of overcoming violence. We believe that a new civilization is being born. A universal human nation is starting to configure and that we can help to shape it with the best of our human intentions and actions in the direction of progress and evolution for all.